Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel and another card making tutorial. Today we are going to be creating this rainy day thinking of you card using brand new products from the Mama Elephant March 2023 release. We'll be using the Raindrops cover plate background, thinking of you stamps and dies, as well as the rainy day stamps and dies. And you can see how I started out my card by laying out the components <laughs> laying out the components and really getting a feel for how I think everything will fit on the front of the A2 card. One of the benefits of the cover plates is, or the cover backgrounds, is that they allow you um, a really good idea of your card size since they're A2 sized. So I die cut that from some 110 pound weight Nina Smooth White cardstock, and I'm going to grab my Simon Says Stamp glass mat and I am going to use some post-it tape to tape off the edge of the die from the stitching line to the outside. This is one of my go-to favorite things to do to instantly give my background the look that I have matted it when I haven't. This also keeps the layering to a minimum, which reduces bulk and makes it easier to mail a card. Anytime I can save a little bit of time and a little bit of paper, I love to do that. Then I'm going to take three of my favorite colors from Simon Says Stamp and we are going to ink up our background, starting with the lightest color, which is our marine color. And you'll notice I didn't pull it all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to leave just the very bottom of that panel white. Next, we're going to be using some Cadet. And then finally, we will be using Royal. And I'm using my favorite Simon Says Stamp ink blending brush to get this look. I love using the glass mat for ink blending because the cleanup is super quick and easy. Once I have the color exactly the way I want it, I will take a distress sprayer and I am going to spritz the background with a little bit of water and distress it. And then we're going to set this aside to dry. I will, will go ahead and peel up the post-it tape which has protected the edges and it's going to leave us with this nice little white border. Next, we are going to grab one of my favorite stamp sets from the release, which is the Thinking of You stamp set. Whether you are using it with Mama Elephant images or other stamps and dies or not, I think that this is a phenomenal stamp set, much like the Thank You stamp set from last month, the February 2022 release. It is going to be one that you're going to want to add to your collection. It uh, The stamp set comes with the Thinking of You that's this beautiful large script, and I'm going to do an ombre effect, and then there's lots of small greetings and you can mix and match to go with it, which I think is phenomenal works for a lot of occasions. So I did my light color first and then I added my mid-tone color next and I used my ink blending brush to blend that out a little bit along the edge. And then I finished with the dark color. When I have a large stamped greeting like this, I love an ombre effect and it's going to match our background perfectly. It is super easy to achieve. And by using a blending brush to kind of blur that edge, you aren't going to get those harsh edges that you sometimes get when you're using this technique. Next, I am going to take a small sentiment from the rest of the stamp set and I chose and sending you a hug. I'm going to stamp that with the royal ink, the darkest color in my trio, and then I am simply going to die cut my greeting, the thinking of you, with the coordinating die. And this die is incredible, you guys. It is going to die cut all of the little nooks and crannies, leaving you with a very beautiful die cut that doesn't have all of that big white space, meaning you're going to be able to see through it to the raindrops background, which is absolutely amazing in my opinion. I am loving that our favorite companies are really um, coming through with these more detailed dies. Then I will take the Simon Says Stamp Sentiment Label die and I am going to die cut the little phrase underneath into a strip. <laughs> Sorry about Frank barking. He likes to bark a lot. Um, and then we are going to die cut the thinking of you two more times from white cardstock. We don't need to stamp it again or anything like that. But 
because it's very detailed, there's a lot of little skinny pieces, I don't wanna work on figuring out how to line up foam underneath there. Just die cut that die again a couple times or however many you want, and that is gonna give you a little bit chunkier, a little bit more of a prominent sentiment. Then I'm going to take the images I've picked from the Rainy Day stamp set, and you might be thinking, Nicole, I don't think you used that cat umbrella. I actually changed my mind. So I have cut uh, the coloring of that because I really messed up the coloring of the cat and the umbrella. I didn't like either one. And I changed to the frog umbrella, which you will see in a minute. I'm gonna start coloring in my little chick. I think I've mentioned this many, many times in the past, but this is my favorite critter from Mama Elephant. I love all of them, but I don't know what it is about this little like egg-shaped egg shaped chick but I think he's so cute and so fun and I love that he keeps making an appearance in mama elephant stamp sets because you can really mix and match the umbrellas in this are very cute obviously they work really really nicely with a thinking of you sentiment there are other sentiments in this stamp set so if you want to uh, use the sentiments from that stamp set you absolutely can the sentiments in rainy days is when life gives you a rainy day play in the puddles that's adorable and you make my heart pitter patter definitely a little bit more um a different type of sentiment that's what i want to say I felt like this umbrella was the perfect opportunity for a little rainbow, which is going to provide a nice pop of color. I know it's a super tiny, uh, a tiny rainbow and a tiny image, but it's going to make a big impact in the overall look and feeling of the card. Now I did stamp my images on a scrap of Nina Smooth White cardstock, and I know I've mentioned this in my other Olo marker coloring videos. I'm using the Olo alcohol ink markers and the recommended paper is the Express It card. I actually stamped these and then I realized I hadn't stamped them on uh, the Express It for the marker I wanted to use. And I just decided to go for it and the results were fine. I do think the results are better on Express It probably. Um, for this, I don't think it mattered a whole lot. So you can play around with different papers and see what you like. I, I found it worked okay. There was a couple of spots in the images I ended up not using that I didn't think colored very well. But I can't tell if it was um, the paper or my coloring. My coloring wasn't great. <laughs> so I'm just cutting that out. I like to be real with you guys. I don't wanna really leave it in here and make the video long, but I, I didn't like the, I picked too dark of colors. I know better than that. I tell you guys all the time, start light. Um, and I just, I ended up not liking the cat umbrella I felt like the frog umbrella gave me an opportunity to add a different pop of color to the design. So I did color in the raindrops with some blue markers. I will link, pardon me, not link, I will list down below the colors I'm using and for each image so that if you are looking to pick up some Olo markers, um, and you like certain colors, you can check those out. For the frog umbrella, I played around and I ended up pulling in a darker color that I love. Um, it really, really works. So you'll see that here in just a minute. I started with just a couple of lighter greens and then I pull in a dark green and add some like little uh, froggy spots. Um, I tried to do it with my mid-tone color and it just didn't turn out very cute. Uh, I like the little bit darker color and it's going to be super, super cute. And we'll just color all that in. And here I'm gonna add those little dark spots. I did try to leave, while my video is sped up, I did leave the coloring in just at my regular sped up speed for um, all of you who love the coloring. I know I've heard from so many of you over the years that you like the coloring, for the most part, a little bit slower. Um, I will speed up a little bit quicker the assembly of the card since that will um, is not quite as interesting, I suppose, is what I want to say. For the kitty, I did color him too dark to begin with, and then it really it bled outside the line, which might be the problem with 
I shouldn't say problem, but it might be the concern with this particular paper and these markers. Um, but I found I, I liked him a little bit lighter. I felt like it worked much better with the kind of design I'm trying to create. And then the cute little yellow raincoat, of course, and um, just the sweet little kitty face. Reminds me of my son's one kitty. Very, very cute and very fun. And I'm just gonna work to get that color, again, much lighter than I originally planned. We're gonna do like some little uh, black pants and then instead of leaving his feet, I think the feet could either be the cat, but I made them little black rain boots, um, which I, I also liked, I thought that was fun. We will use the coordinating dies to die cut all of the pieces for um, our card here, and then we're just gonna put it all together. It is was a very quick and easy card to put together, minus you know a, a little bit of coloring, but this was quick coloring. It didn't take that terrible long at all. And then we do need to add something back behind our raindrops panel, I think, but I'm going to do that last. Um, I really kind of considered and worked on that while I assembled everything else. So we're gonna start first with the glue on the back of the Thinking of You that we've stamped in ombre. We're gonna glue that to the other two layers, one right on top of another. You definitely don't have to do this. You can just glue it right to your card if you want. But if you like for your sentiment to have a little dimension, this is a quick and easy way to achieve that very easily, very cleanly. There isn't any of that, um, you know, adhesive or adhesive foam adhesive back behind that you can see from the side or anything like that i'm going to glue my sentiment strip right on top of that no foam needed because it's mostly up on top of the dimensional greeting and then i'm going to put foam back behind my critters and the umbrella and i'm going to glue those in place to finish building this little sweet scene so cute and so fun i love the raindrop panel uh, raindrops cover plate. I think it's really, really cute and fun. Lots of fun things that could be done with this. And then I'm going to glue the raindrops directly to the background to make it look like they're splashing in the rain. I did trim a piece of some silver glitter cardstock then to four by five and a quarter. And I purposely did that because it's going to fit back behind my cover plate perfectly and I used a black jelly roll pen to add detail to the eyes on the frog, the cat, and the chick. I always like to finish with that because I feel like it really makes the face stand out. When securing some paper to glitter paper, I do find liquid adhesive is your best bet because it's not gonna go anywhere. So I glued it right to the back. It's gonna show through the raindrops. You could inlay if you want to. I didn't wanna take the time to do that. And then look at the little sparkle that that adds to the finished card design. I absolutely love it. And some hearts are gonna be the perfect finishing detail. I picked the boiled sugar hearts. These are the clear hearts from Trinity Stamps. I love these. Uh, I feel like they add a lot to the raindrop type of feel of this. And of course, just add a great little finishing detail. I always love my little hearts, as you guys know. So I'm just going to add quite a few of these kind of at a diagonal. You'll see that there's some in the upper right corner, moving down to the lower left. And we'll add, there they go. I just love them. And when the glue completely dries, you will see through them. You won't see any of the glue or anything like that. I will attach this entire panel to a white top fold card base and our Thinking of You rainy day card is all finished. Here is a look at the finished design. I love the dimensional detail. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this Thinking of You card featuring brand new stamps and dies from the Mama Elephant March 2023 release. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me today for another paper crafting tutorial.
I love being able to share with this incredible community of crafters. I want to give a huge shout out and special thank you to my amazing Patreon members. If you're interested in joining Patreon, please click the link in the description underneath the video here on YouTube. Patreon is a private community where you can support more of what I do. There's exclusive content, you'll receive a handmade birthday card from me during your birthday month, monthly lives for my top tier patrons, and more. We would love to have you join our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you're always notified when I have a video or go live. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you again next time.